Hello and welcome back to another Aurea review by Paul. Um, here today to review Java Chip. Java Chip. I uh, also got the little news sticker up there. If you'll recall from last time, I accused Mondelez of being a bunch of liars. Uh, that statement stands as uh, they had released a coffee cookie um, at some point in the past. I don't remember which. I've tried over a hundred of these folks, so if, uh, forgive me if I don't remember every single one by its actual name, but this one is uh, touted for coffee-flavored cream, naturally artificially flavored with chocolatey chips. So uh, I am a chocolate lover. That's on the record. So uh, I'm optimistic for that portion. However, uh, I am not a coffee drinker, nor do I like the flavor of coffee and ice cream or uh, any other form, uh, frozen, iced, drinkable. Not a, not a coffee person. Uh, my grandfather once compared it to cigarettes and said, uh, if you haven't started by now, don't ever start. So... I take that advice to heart. We're going to uh, open it up here for the first look. We got the uh, new design pull tab again. Oh no, I seem to have ripped the pull tab in half. That's not good. Package design department uh, might want to take a look at this. Okay, here we go. A wonderful first look. Now, it seems as though the cream is thicker than the hazelnut cream just before it even though usually they're about the, the double stuff thickness. But let's go in for the first smell. I can already smell it from up here, which is not a good sign. Ugh. I hate coffee. I'm sorry. It's just it's, it's just repulsive smell. But authentic, I should say. Um, so let's go ahead. I don't, I don't have a lot of high expectations for this one, uh, ladies and gentlemen. But I, I, I'm a man of my craft, and I review every new Oreo that comes out. So uh, here we go. See, there's a good cookie in here, but they have to ruin it with the coffee. I don't like it. I don't like it. I know, it's a biased review, but hey, it's my review. I can say what I want. Um, so maybe for you coffee people out there, this is going to be a hit for me. If, I, if we were in the office, I would bring this in, but what are you going to do? Um, all right, so let's go with the old twist test here. You know, the rule is two out of three. A perfect twist on the first one. No fun designs on these. Just, you know, regular Oreos with uh, different cream. Nothing to show there. Another perfect, perfect spin. Um, so, yeah, you know, I, I, I just got to say this is one different strokes for different folks, right? It's probably not a bad cookie. For me, it's repulsive. Um, but, you know, I really hope the chocolate chip it would bring out a little bit more. I didn't even taste it. I didn't even taste it. Um, you can, you can barely see them in there. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up. Um, you know, they're, they're in there, but it's not, not what you want from Paul, the Oreo reviewer. So I, I would say, you know, unless you're a big coffee person, probably pass on this one. Doubt the kids are going to be too into it. Um, but thumbs up to you Nabisco for, for trying, bringing back a flavor. I'm sure there was some demand. They did some market research and people said, yeah, we want coffee back. So, Hey, props to them. Um, and yeah, I'll, uh, I'll keep my eyes peeled for Brookio. That's the one I actually went to the store for and found these two instead. So, uh, I'll keep my eyes peeled for that and hopefully see you soon for that review. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.